Hey, what's up everyone? So I'm going to do the tutorial on the arrangement of Overture from the Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence. Let me get this cell phone out of here. Alright, so uh, this tutorial I, I put it in the key of E because that's a nice uh, guitar friendly key. And so we're just going to start with uh, this E chord and then we make it major seventh by grabbing this fourth fret of the B string and then the open E string like that. So that's the first chord. You could also do it like uh, this if you if you want to do it like that. You could do it like that and then sort of get your um, uh, middle finger in there. that which you may have to do it um, if you're using a different type of guitar because I noticed the classical guitar I think the scale is just a little bit smaller and it makes this a little bit easier to do but if you try doing it on um, like a regular dreadnought acoustic it's it's kind of a hard stretch to do but so we got that that first chord E major 7 with the B on top then we're keeping the, the E in the bass and we're just going to hit the uh, F sharp minor triad like that. So hopefully you guys know your triads. Uh, if you don't, uh, it's just 4, 2, 2 on the D, G, and the B string. Right? It's a great sound. It's a really it's a really cool sound. Even, you know, you could go up like E, F sharp. There's E. There's F sharp. There's E. There's there's F sharp minor. So it's, it's kind of a nice sound. But, um... So that melody is going four, five. So now this is a uh, first inversion uh, B chord. So it's basically just uh, six, four, four, seven of the frets. So that's what you're doing with that one. And then you have the B chord again. So you're, you're going down to a root B. And then you're going third, fourth, and then hitting that second fret on the high E string. Now the next chord is kind of a tricky chord. Uh, so it's basically a, a C sharp minor chord, but then you you bar you can bar your uh, your middle finger to get that A note on top, which which makes it sort of like a uh, C sharp minor with a flat six on top, or you know there's a couple names where you could think of it as like uh, like a first inversion, maybe uh, A major seven chord. But anyway, so that's that's that. So from here. I just keep the melody going. The melody's just going down by scale. So five, four, seven, five, or A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Uh, now we're going to a uh, a, uh, a first inversion uh, G sharp minor chord. And so basically, you, you just bar the fourth fret and put your. Uh, Put your uh, pinky on the seventh fret. You could probably, you could, you could, you could do it there too. That would, that would work fine. So, now we just have a regular old A chord, just like that. Nothing, nothing too crazy. But what's going on is the, the bass line is we're going to descend the bass line on the A chord. So we're going to have something like... Now, when, when we have the open E, we're going to put uh, that B triad there on the 4th fret, so that's just 4-4-4. Four, four, four. So we got... And now we're going to a D chord, which would be the 4-4 four, four chord in, in the key. Um, and then we're, we're doing the same thing, we're going to walk down from that, so we got D, C sharp, B, and then the melody. It's just a G sharp A or four or five, so from the D. Now we're just on a regular B chord. That's the melody. I got I got two, four, four, two. And then we're gonna 
plonk down again. So we got all, all good uh, voice, voice leading going on. Oops. Then we're going to start it over again. Starts the same way. Same deal. But now, instead of the C-sharp minor chord with the A on top, we're just going to put a D chord there, a little D triad. Like that. Uh, you could also do it like that if you prefer. Uh, that would that would that would work fine. But uh, so from here, uh, get the D triad. Now we're going to an F sharp minor triad with C sharp in the bass, so like F sharp minor uh, second version. So basically, it's just uh, two 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 with uh, four here. So we got. So then we're just gonna go to our old basic C chord, just like that, which is a. Uh, they're using it as the uh, the flat major six chord in there. So it's it's a great great chord, and actually this is a great example of just. Uh, um, sort of like uh, more advanced harmony, you know, like using some of these other borrowed chords from other keys, right? Because it's this, uh, you know, that flat major six chord, right, would be, you know, was not part of the key of E, but. So then our melody, melody line, we got C, B, B, A. So we're just going down C, B, A. Now, we're gonna do a, a second version E chord, so it's just a regular old E chord from the beginning, but we're just playing B in the bass. So, so I'm going high E and then B like that, and then we got our secondary dominant chord. So we got the five of five chord, the uh, the F sharp chord. All right. So let's take. So we got. Third two. It's F sharp. Now I'm just doing open E to F sharp. Now this is the uh, the minor the minor four chord of the key. Um, with with that uh, with the um, it would be called the uh, parallel. Parallel uh, har parallel harmony, right? Because normally in the key of E, right, G sharp is the third, but now we got G on top, so it's, it's an A minor seven chord with the uh, G on top. So and that's how I do it. I use my pinky because I'm gonna have to land on the rest of the chord. Right, so do minor seven, minor six, right? That's where it sounds. And then I got just a B sus, B seven sus four, right? And then got got my D sharp there. And then you could just end it on E. I think I just did a little. Um, I switched it up a little bit, so we had that. And then I just went to uh, a C as like a deceptive cadence, which they kind of do that in, uh, at the end of the album. I'm not sure if they do it in the beginning, but they do do it at, at the ending to to keep the the listener keep the listener's expectation. You know, just like oh, it's not ending. You know, because you're you're gonna expect it to end, right? That's what that's what your ear is expecting to hear. But the, you know, they're they're always do some clever clever harmony stuff. Um, and then you could go to C, and then you could put uh, D, uh, so D would C in the bass, and then you could you could end it there. You could also do some other stuff. You could do the E over B. Actually, yeah, it would sound sound better with that third on top.
then yeah, they 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 keep it like going and going, going, going. Um. Anyway, so. Uh, End it. So that's it. Hopefully that was thorough enough for anyone. Uh, I, I, I usually don't really do do tabs, but uh, I mean, if people, if, if, if you know, I'll start putting my PayPal in my uh, description. If, if people really want tabs, I could, uh, I could just open up the Guitar Pro and really uh, work out the tabs for you if you really want, but. I don't know. I think I think these personalized lesson videos are could be a lot better than tabs because uh, you got me breaking down the whole thing in 10, 11 minutes, and then you got it. So, all right, guys. Uh, hope that's helpful. Definitely make sure to slap that like button and subscribe, and um, let me know if there's something else you want to do, and if it's not insanely time consuming, uh, I'll do it for you guys. So, have a good one.